Social capital. It's an unusual term, isn't it? It includes capital, but it isn't about finances or money. It is about something much more valuable. Social capital is about the relationships, trust, networks and values developed between people who take the time to get to know each other, help each other and work to improve the place where they live. It develops when people are going about the business of being neighbours. Social capital develops over time. When we first moved into our new house in a new city, one of our neighbours called over to introduce himself and tell us a little bit about the neighbourhood in the area. People would smile at each other and say hi when they passed you in the street. We had one or two street get-togethers to meet more of our neighbours. These were easy to arrange. An invitation in each person's letterbox and then wait for them to turn up. We got to know more neighbours, even if it was only their first name. One of my neighbours knows about cars. When we had a problem with our car, he was able to help fix it. I'm certain he could also help me with my lawnmower if it needed some attention. Other neighbours know about other things. I know I can ask them for help when it's needed. The more we get to know each other and become connected, the more social capital we generate. In places where there is high social capital, there's a low crime rate. But in places where people start to have a fear of crime, they keep to themselves, become isolated in their houses. They start to distrust others and social capital declines. I know in my street, if there is anything suspicious or out of the ordinary happening, someone would intervene and call the police before a crime could be committed. Our safety is related closely to how much social capital we have. Our local school is part of our community. The principal keeps in contact through a newsletter every week. There are activities where the school invites community members to come to where they can get to know each other and the people who work at the school. All the teachers are friendly and greet parents and other members of the community. They have high social capital with the community. In places with high social capital, if there is a problem, neighbours will get together and try to find a solution. These are good places to live. People know each other, trust each other, are connected and care for each other and the place where they live. Social capital, more valuable than high finances. <laughs>